We ready to resume, Mr. President. Session is resumed. Senator Cayetano has the floor. Uh, Senator Soto wishes yes. to interpolate. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, as uh, rightfully manifested by Senator Cayetano, who was uh, the previous uh, majority floor leader, someone who has the floor has the floor. And once he yields, he, have, he has lost uh, the floor, actually. So it, it is best that we continue with my interpolation on the uh, speech of Senator Caetano. So will the distinguished gentleman from Taguig yield to a few questions? Yes, Mr. President. My privilege. Thank you, Majority Leader. Thank you. In fact, Mr. President, I was just about to move for the referral of the speech of Senator De Lima and Senator Caetano to the proper committees, you know, in this case proper, perhaps Committee on Justice and then Committee on Public Order. But uh, my uh, curiosity was aroused by a number of points that were raised by the two um, senators, Mr. President. So, um, in as much as Senator De Lima does not wish to be interpolated, I would like to pick the mind of the former majority leader on some of the issues she raised and also the issues that Senator Caetano raised. Let me start, Mr. President, by uh, uh, the reaction of Senator Caetano on the, a quote that I have uh, read somewhere. It says, a person has lost his human right when he destroyed the lives of many young people. Um, does a person lose, when does a person lose his human right? Or does he ever lose? Thank lose you for it? that question, uh, Mr. Majority Leader, Mr. President. But actually, it is a pregnant or trick question because basta may hininga ka. In fact, kahit patay ka, may karapatan ka pa eh. Pag patay ka na, may karapatan pa rin yung, kaya may libel, di ba? Pagka yung memory nung patay ay uh, inupakan mo, uh, yung kung kanino mapupunta yung katawan o yung bangkay, karapatan ng mga kamag-anak mo yon. So, it, it is actually part of the political rhetoric when we say na yung mga pusher na yan, nasa ng human rights because they destroyed the life of, of other people. And in the Duterte Cayetano campaign, we have heard that sometimes, but the president, during the time as a candidate, was always quick to explain and clarify that pwede mo lang patayin kapag ka lumaban. And he has said it time and time again, we will deal with the drug problem within the confines of the Constitution. But does, he, does a pusher or does a person lose some of his rights in certain stages of uh, his life or, or of conducting a crime? Of course. For example, presumption of innocence. Pagka pumasok ka sa opisina ko ng one ng umaga, hindi ka naman nagpaalam, binuksan mo drawer ko, hawak ko mga dokumento, pumasok yung security ko o yung uh, nagbabantay ng opisina ko at sinabi ko, Hoy, ikaw magnanakaw. Hindi mo siya pwede ilibel, hindi mo pwede sabihin presumption of innocence. Para sa korte yon. Pagdating sa korte, we have to prove that nagnanakaw ka. But in that moment, the burden shifts to you for you to tell me bakit ka nasa kwarto at bakit mo hawak ang dokumento. So for example, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Majority Leader, who is one of the leading um, fighters against drugs, no? not only during his term as Vice Mayor in uh, Quezon City, but all the way here, I ilan beses nyo po sinubukan i-amend yung drug... Uh, yung anti-drug laws natin and many times successful because di ba nagiging problema yung kung kailangan kasama yung barangay eh paano ko yung barangay kasama sa pusher, di ba? Hmm. So yung the burden of proof, for example, for saying that someone is innocent, pagka bypassed operation, naglabas na ng droga yung bibilan mo, hawak na niya yung marked money, right there and there, the presumption of the police that you are a drug pusher, nagsi shift and right there and there may presumption of regularity on this on the side of the police. So yes, may human rights pa ang tao kahit na anong sama ng ginawanya, di ba? For example, hindi tayo naniniwala sa hanging sa 
sa firing squad. Kaya nung meron tayong uh, death penalty, kaya natin ginawang uh, kaya natin ginawang lethal injection dahil naniniwala tayo sa humanity or meron human rights. Lastly, Mr. President, the Constitution says that there cannot be uh, cruel uh, punishment. Cruel and unusual punishment. So that, sh that shows that kahit anong sama ng krimen mo, anong sama mong tao, ay pwede ka pa rin, uh, meron ka pa rin ka pa karapatan. No? But that doesn't mean naman that pagka yung karapatan ng iba ay paapektado na, supreme yung karapatan mo. So kung ako po, Sir Mr. President, tapos nilabasan kita ng barel at sabihin ko, Hoy, ikaw polis, ako po, Sir. Ako pwede kitang barilin. Ikaw, hindi mo ako pwedeng barilin. Mali ata yun. At that point in time, I give up my, my right no, uh, not to be shot or not to be arrested because lumaban ako eh. So, Mr. President, that's my interpretation of you know, that statement. Um, there's a very thin line uh, in the way I, I uh, um, comprehend the answer of this gentleman, but I will uh, take it as that.